So let's say you want to send some temperature readings or the state of a door if it's open or closed or a window or whatever up to the internet using no coding at all, just like block coding, like Scratch or in this case, block coding from makecode.org. You can, you can use one of these things. It's an IoT bit. And uh, this'll, this'll send data up. Like I'll just show you. Here's some data temperature and various stuff like that. And this is, is you know, it's a website you can share with people. You can even um, get these guys here. This is some HTML code. So you could send them, I don't know, to put them on whatever website you have or blogs. Do they still do blogs? I don't know. Um, anyway, let's, let's, let's code it. So in this case, I've, I've my one here, it just, it's just sending temperature. Um, but of course you can send CO2 levels. You can send uh, compass or whatever. You can put in any, any sensor into here and it's got analog input. So it's easy to send up the internet. Let's do it. The first thing I'm going to need is a cup of tea. Now that I've got that, I'm ready to code. Uh, where's my code.org? This one. Right. Um, I've gone into extensions and typed IoT bit. So look, extensions down here and just type IoT. It actually won't come up because I've already imported it. But, you know, the IoT bit. Oh, there it is. Can I double import it? Maybe I've just re-imported it. Fine. Well, you got to see it. And that's what's important. Um, now, uh, I guess I'm going to need this thing. So this thing, uh, this, who cares what it does, but you need it. It does some technical stuff. You'll need a Wi-Fi code. I better just zoom in here so you can see it. There we go. Right. So our pin eight and pin 12, you know, are transmit, receive. And this is the rate at which the, you know, the tapping occurs, the, you don't know, who cares? Look, just make sure that's in your code somewhere, right? Otherwise it won't work. That's pretty much it. I've got a hotspot here. I'm not telling you my home Wi-Fi code, even though it's extremely useful. It's fine. No one lives by my house. You're welcome to hack my Wi-Fi when you come here. Um, I'm just making sure my hotspot's on there. My hotspot is called DNet. And the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm, I'm kind of ready to connect to the internet, but I suppose I should do this on the, on the start, you know? So basic, on start, connect to the interweb machine. There you go. That's fine. Uh, so I'm just going to, I guess, do the absolute basics you need to, to send stuff to the internet. In fact, yeah, let's just skip any complicated code. I find like when I look at tutorials, there's a lot of programmers just showing off. Um, but I don't, I don't want to do that. I just want to put up the absolute bare minimum you need. So connect to ThingSpeak. Yeah, we'll need that. We'll need this big block to say what we're sending up. We're going to set up temperature. So input temperature is down here. Here you go. Field one is going to be temperature. Your API key. That's your secret password. That's uh, the key, your password to unlock things. So you'll need to Google things speak and then create a channel, you know? Um, so when you make it, go into things speak here and sign in uh, under channels, you can create a channel down here. Oh, I think I've got the max amount of, no, there you go, new channel. When you go new channel, um, just give it a name of oh, four channels. Okay, well, look, you, you can see into my channel right here. You go, this, you'll get the same thing when it comes up. If I click into edit, you'll see what would have come up for you. Um, how does one edit? <laughs> Where's the public view channel? Here you go. This is what you'll see when you make a channel. So you can have as many uh, fields as, well, you can have eight on a free account. So temperature here, it doesn't really matter what you put. This is only going to come up in your graphs. Switch position, this could be compass, whatever, you know, this could be hairiness, this could be magnetometer, whatever, you, whatever you're hooking up. They're just, just names. They don't actually put whatever there, you know? It's just gonna affect what's gonna show up here, the name on your graph. It won't break your code or anything. It doesn't care. So this you will need. See your API key? That. This is super secret. But if you if you write over my database, I don't really care. You know, 
I'm not using this for anything important. I'm just teaching it. In fact, I win if you use it because I taught you how to do that. So there you go. Um, right, I've copied that. Double click, control C, right click, copy. I don't need to tell you how to copy stuff, hopefully. Go back to make code.org. Oh, I've gone too far, this one. And pop in your API key, control V or paste, right? So that's it. And then I guess uh, upload this stuff to ThingSpeak. Um, yeah. Upload data to ThingSpeak. Savage. Look at this. ThingSpeak connected false. I swear that wasn't there literally just 10 seconds ago. Could this be the most up-to-date tutorial ever? Maybe. Yeah, like I literally, that what that block wasn't there. Maybe they updated that extension. It's pretty cool. Cool. So that's pretty much it, to be honest. This will work. The problem is you will have no idea if it's working or not. <laughs> because, you know, your micro bit is just going to be blankety blank. Um, okay, I said the absolute bare minimum code, but can we at least put like a face at the start so I know my micro bit's actually on? Right, there we go. Right, you need to you need to connect this up the top to load on your your thing to the micro bit. So it goes in there, and there's also one the side, but we're not going to use that just yet. But we do have to use that. So I'm going to download my code there. You can pair things up, right? But I wouldn't recommend it in this case because you're gonna to have to unplug, so that won't work. There's there's kind of two plugs going on in this in this Yonkama Bob. So I drag stuff across. You can see all the many silly failed versions I have there. Oh, scroll, you fool. There we go. So going flashy, flashy, flashy yellow, which means it's working. And when it's all done. Uh, you should see, you know, this guy sticking out his tongue. There you go. Nice. All right. So it, it's working, I guess. Maybe it's working. Maybe not, though. Uh, in fact, you know why it's not working? It's because you see that the blue flashy thing hasn't happened. This is the Wi-Fi part of the board, and it's doing nothing at all. I need to plug this out. Ah, not that plug that out. Plug this out. And I need to put uh, the... USB power. Now look, it could be battery power, mobile phone charger, but I just need to put five volts in there at the moment. What's real mad is you have to swap, swap this around. It goes like upside down and it goes into the other part of the board, which is infuriating. There we go. Right, uh, it's on. You can flick on the on switch, but I forgot to turn it off, so it's on now. Grant, so I guess let's just go down and just see if it's if data's coming in, right? Should say a second ago if it's right two minutes ago. So I have really no idea, right, if this is um, sending data. And this is why I was like, there's the minimum amount of code, <laughs> but like, it's not necessarily the best way to do it because I'm pretty sure it's not working. And I'm pretty sure I would have no idea if it was going to work. Yeah, see, this here shouldn't say, like, it should say seconds ago, I guess. Three minutes ago is, is no good. All right. So I think there is a bit of an issue here. Uh, well, and here's what I need to do. Plug this guy back out again. I need to adjust my code. So because I'm going to adjust my code, right, I'm going to plug it back into the brain of the operation into the top again. And I'm going to separate this. All right. So the icon can stay. Um, all this is grand, but this other part can go into some kind of main loop. In fact, I'm going to go input and say when I push the A and B button together, maybe. A and B together. That's fun. When I push A and B together, it then will connect to things speak, do the code thing, blah, 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 upload, whatever, grand. And so really what I need, want is some sort of like you know, under icons here, if I can just put in some sequence of whatever so that I know on the various stage <laughs> how far it's gotten. Because before, I just had no idea. Like, um, there we go. I think that'll look nice. 
you know? So when it gets to here, it'll be done. In fact, I'll put a tick. There we go. I don't know why there's two at the end. It's really unnecessary, but I just think small, big, small, big. It'll just look nice. So I also could put something here to say if it's connected to the Wi-Fi successfully or not. So I actually think I might do that. I'll go down here and go um, see Wi-Fi connected false. So I just need a, like a, some kind of logic if something. Um, if Wi-Fi connected is true, celebrate with a smiley face. There you go. And you can do the plus sign here because if it didn't connect, you'll be sad. There you go. I think this is a lot, a lot more likely to work now. You know what? I'm going to press A instead of A and B because if I'm the A and B, you really have to, then you like the board pops out and it's just, hmm. Well, there's your problem right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. What do like, how can I possibly get that wrong? Oh, hotspot name. There was a capital D in it. Is that, is that really? Okay, I've changed the small d to a big d. I've also changed, turn off the Wi-Fi on my phone. Maybe that was stopping the hotspot. But either way, check it out. It's going to work. Smiley face. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Smiley face. Smiley face. Smiley face. Hey, there we go. Right. Now I know it's connected. You see, they weren't necessary blocks, but they're kind of necessary for your sanity. Okay. Now that I know it's connected, I can press the A button. And I've found from my extensive like one hour of trying this um i find when you're sending stuff to things speak with this you have to just wait till it's all connected take a breather have a sandwich relax and then come back and press a to initiate the data thing okay so um anytime i've had it connecting and sending right after that in the same block in the same kind of lot of code didn't work so okay see that look that lovely animation i know it's gone through all the bits it ticked and it sent us up some data there okay so let's go into my there you go look at that 29 real nice now there is a limit to uh how many data points you can send on things speak on a free account so you know don't don't use a all now i feel like it shouldn't be on this tick it should have gone on to the next one. Did I not put this in a loop? I did not put it in a loop. Bad me. Okay. Um, so that's how to send it exactly once, which is not a lot of data. So you're going to have to put this in a loop. Um, I'm just going to go while true. Do you know a classic while true loop? So while true. There you go. Okay, it seems to be just chugging away there and doing point after point after point in this nice little loop. I'm just gonna wait, go on, give us another point there so I'm not crazy. There you go, it is. They're just very close together. I swear there's two points, like there's, there's 15 seconds in between. Now, as I said, there is a limit to how many you can send. So it may be a good idea if you're leaving this going all day long to just pop back into your code and down here, put a little pause or something, you know? Um, maybe one other improvement you could do here to, to this particular one, I'm just going to turn this off, is you see up here, it'd be great if, if someone looking at the thing could see what the, what, what it's sending as well. So I probably would go like up here, you know, show number and just show the temperature as well. Um, now it'll just look, look like a random number. So if you were to be very fancy, you could go down to text and go show temperature C. I don't know if it's going to show degrees. Alt 248. There we go. Degree symbol. I think this now has to go into instead of show number, it has to be show string as in show a wordy stringy thing. There you go. And now um, I'll just do it in the simulator here, but you'll see um, if I press A, it'll show the that's <laughs> probably not going to work in the simulator, isn't it? Because it's got all this IoT stuff going on. Oh, there we go. Look. It'll show the 
the temperature there as well, which to be honest, it's kind of handy because if you're getting crazy temperatures on things speak, at least you can be like, well, it, you know, is it just out of sync or whatever, you know? So I think that's, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. If you wanted to do uh, the next thing, let's say I wanted to send a, what other things are there in the micro bit? Light level, put that in there. Um, that would be field two. I'll just have to go on to go on to here and under channel settings, change this to like light level. I say that I have to, I don't have to. It'll just come up in a graph, label switch position. So it's only, if this is only the label for your graphs. Field two will still stay. It'll still do what it's gonna do, isn't it? So that's pretty much, um, pretty much it. Uh, yeah. So I guess what I'll do in the next video or so is hook up maybe an external sensor to this, you know, like maybe a CO2 sensor or something like that. Um, and use that instead of the, the temperature and inbuilt sensors. Um, and it might be good to look at, you know, servo positions and switch positions, um, true, false, all that, all that sort of jazz, but yeah, cool. I think that that's, that's enough to get you going. So try and get that working and yeah, have fun.